喜欢看那些爱情片，有像呃肖战和李现这些中国演员和 like Angelababy。My brother like 爱情爱情那种仙女的那种 drama， 都 special effect。Yeah, they can feel like yeah. <laughs> I like to watch more Chinese dramas because I think it helps improve my Chinese. And a lot of Hollywood dramas, like a lot of them, have like sex. In the first episode, it's really wrong for me. But in Chinese dramas, I mean, most of the time, like episode twenty, then they hold hands, everyone screaming. I've watched one C drama. It's called Hidden Love. Ten out of ten. 上个月登陆 Netflix 的中国剧《头头藏不住》已经上架，就在新加坡和其他不少地区登上排行榜前十的位置，更一度冲上全球节目排行第十三名，在非英语系节目中也跻身前十。打破大陆电视剧在该平台最好成绩。东南亚地区订阅额最多的视频平台之一，来自香港的 View TV。平台目前收视最高的电视剧前两名都来自中国，第一位是《古偶长相思》第一季，第二位则是现代都市偶像剧《你是我的人间烟火》，之后才是韩剧。甚至去年暑期档热播的《星汉灿烂月深沧海》，目前仍排在前二十榜单中的第十一位。在 TikTok 上，长月烬明偷偷藏不住的话题标签均突破十亿。今年初上线 Netflix 的《点燃你，温暖我》，以及暑期热播小成本网剧《当我飞奔向你》，也均有破百万点赞的短视频。不少人甚至表示，从追韩剧转向追中国剧。在新加坡，人们也看中国剧吗？有看的人又喜欢哪些题材和明星呢？我们走上街头问问路人。I like American dramas. Usually, I like to watch、uh, sitcoms, so like Modern Family, like Friends. I really like to rewatch them. Either Ang Moh kind or Japanese kind. Or? Korean. For her Korean. Korean drama. Prefer the Korean dramas. I watch a lot, but usually I watch Thai and Chinese. I'm really into those sweet romantic C dramas. We really like um like K dramas. I'm not really into、uh, K-pop or and K drama. I like the Chinese dramas. You watch Media Corp Chinese show. Cause my Chinese very bad. And even if I watch the show, I read subtitles. Thai drama. Do none of you guys like Chinese? I, I watch it once. once. You could still watch them. You you could still love them. I watched one C drama because my friend was watching it. It's called Hidden Love. It was really good because like. They had like the main character and like his love interest. The whole like circle between it, it was so wholesome. Like I really enjoyed it. Ten out of ten. Yes, ten out of ten. <laughs> I watch like mostly Korean dramas, but I also watch like Chinese dramas and Thai dramas. It's mostly Korean dramas that I watch, but my algorithm on like Netflix and other like View. They also suggest dramas from China. My introductory was more like Korean. Now I like Chinese drama. I prefer older kind of dramas, like the nostalgic ones, and also a historical drama. So like for Chinese, it will be like Princess Wei Yang. All the Chinese drama, he watched all of them. Yeah, like Ashes of Love. My brother like those type of、um, 爱情爱情 but 那种仙女的那种 drama. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, those type. Of... Effect. That that type has a lot of special effects. Yeah. Effect. Like、yeah. <laughs> love me to the fairy devil. All those heavenly celestial type dramas. I love them so much. It's too much for me. There's this drama called The Untamed. I like it a lot too. They're really pretty. I just stare at the face and I think, I want that face. It's a lot about good acting and good story for me. But sometimes when the actors are nice looking, it also helps a little bit. There's one called The Untamed. The acting is very good, and then the graphics and animation is also excellent. The storyline is very interesting, also. I was watching one Love O to O. It's like modern rom com. They put like some little bit of funny elements into it. The storyline is mainly what attracts me. Yeah. I think it's called like The Love You Give Me. It's like a Chinese drama of this mom who has a kid and she gets back with her ex husband. <laughs> Who's also her boss? <laughs> It's like an enemies to lovers,、yeah. oh. but like Chinese edition.、Yeah. I love that one. It's so good. The son is so cute. Best character. <laughs> the love you give me. Yeah.、Huh? All time. I love so beautiful. Shan Yu. I think she stars in Meteor Garden with Dylan Wang. I also watched yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it because it exuded. A sense of youth, more than the original version of the Meteor Garden. 
since it's recent, so the setting is also in the modern age. Oh my gosh. For like really classics, like you know Meteor Garden, right? So the actor, Dylan Wong. Like I will follow all the different shows he has simply because he's hot. The English title is called Go Ahead yeah, on Netflix. Usually Chinese drama, I like to watch rom-coms. It's very different from real life, I would say, because everything's so tense in real life. Usually the plot is more sweet. It's like a break from real life. Though. I like to watch more Chinese dramas because I think it helps improve my Chinese. I think it's more like familiar than Korean or Thai dramas because the language is familiar to me so I don't always have to rely on subtitles. I think culturally also, it's more of the same. In China, I wouldn't say values but I guess the culture is more similar because also like in Singapore, our like population is mostly Chinese. Sometimes they include like the history of China and also the costumes are like so gorgeous in the show set more in the past. Modern dramas always add in stuff that's related to what's happening now. So it's also more relatable, it's more fun to watch. The values are more similar to what I have because I find that in a lot of Hollywood dramas it's like a lot of them have like sex which I feel like in the first episode I feel like it's really wrong for me because this isn't how I was brought up but in Chinese drama episode 20 then they hold hands everyone screaming I think that's also one reason why it got really popular because of the morals and values that the shows have yeah. I take Chinese and I'm really bad at it so I use it to help increase my knowledge of words in general and just learn how they speak you know historical idioms is just really good to know I like to write them down and learn more new things you know the modern ones are good for learning how to speak in conversation. I think I felt the need to broaden my horizons, broaden my view on the entertainment industry. So uh, I wanted to delve into more, more like different types of dramas. Yeah. I started watching around COVID period because I subscribed onto Netflix. So I just don't need to see. But they are interesting. Chinese drama is like other new new storylines also. So it's like some a different change. With the Korean wave and lots of idols are getting into acting, especially those who are Chinese members of the group. Lots of fans follow them to watch a certain Chinese drama. Once it, uh, once it starts, it's just yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a, a cycle. Hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just fall into it. For example, I watch exclusive fairy tale because of Wen Zunwei, but then the girl actor, like if I search for her and then I see a drama that's interesting, I would watch it also. So yeah, it's like a flow. <laughs> I can't speak Chinese even though I'm Chinese. And Korean dramas is kinda cringe. So I stick to like English and Japanese dramas. Uh. You can speak Japanese? No. I'm a big anime fan so I read subtitles a lot and watch Japanese dramas. My Chinese is not very good, la, so I cannot really watch Chinese drama. And I think the plot is not as interesting as US drama. It's just different audience. La. Like for me, I like heavy topics or like a criminal topic. Maybe not the genre for me. I have a lot of free friends that, that catches like um, Chinese dramas a lot. Uh, they're kind of like the legend, they're kind of like in a. The, the costume, the, his, the period kind of drama that attracts them a lot. Like the costume and even the looks of the idols are very attractive to them, so they watch that a lot. Then they will tell me about it. But does it attract me? <laughs> 除了 YouTube, Netflix, View TV, Tengxin Shipping and Aichi Yi also share the world market. In 2019, Chen Qingling was released on VTV, which was released in the region of Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Indonesia. 2020年,爱奇艺在新加坡成立了海外总部 I've been binging a few actually. Right now I'm watching this series called Till the End of the Moon. It's quite popular now, like fairy, devil god kind of thing. 
It's really interesting and there's also this other series called Hidden Love which is like a teen romance, like a high school, like brother's best friend romance. And I also wanted to start this drama called Put Your Hair on My Shoulder. It's also very popular on TikTok and but I haven't started it yet. Yeah. It's on Netflix. I have friends that are watching it now. My friends say the actor is handsome and like couples have good chemistry. So it makes the acting good and like the storyline nice also. The recent one is the Dylan Wang and Esther Yu. Oh my it's god. like everywhere, so it's very popular. I, I, I find, find, find the special effect very interesting. <laughs> I yeah. I always just watch all the special effects only. Yeah. yeah. I just comment on the site. The exclusive fairy tale. Exclusive fairy tale. It stars Wen Jun Wei from Seventeen. It's a K-pop group. With the title, Yung Kai about the win-win. They're Chinese citizens which are in a K-pop group. So that's why we we were able to know those uh, Chinese dramas. If it's a movie, is it okay? It's like Xiao Shi Da Ta. So we're just planning to like watch a movie. Because there's no more like seats for the more popular stuff. In the end, we were quite intrigued by the plot. And then we were quite shocked at the end when they revealed all the plot twists. I think one of the actress, the wife, who was, yeah, I think her acting skills really like moves me, I feel. Yeah. I think in the maybe the past three, four years, the Chinese dramas are getting, there's always a period where a certain country drama is more popular. It was Japanese first, then they become Korean and China dramas, I think. I feel like the production is so much better now compared to last time. Probably less cliche as well. I feel like for a period of time, Chinese dramas are all the same also, but they've improved over time. They got more diverse stuff. Yeah, obviously the actors and actresses are very handsome. La. Definitely that's a selling point. I think there's a lot. I asked my junior like through our pen pal letter system and I asked her, do you watch any C dramas? Because I'm really into them right now. And she said, yeah, me and my friends love C dramas as well. I think a lot of people are really getting interested in C dramas. Actually because uh, the pandemic, is everyone was at home so we all had free access to Netflix. And so we found a lot of new genres and really expand the type of films that we see, yeah. Especially with more apps like uh, IT and like Vue, where like they're opening more to like the international spectrum, I think more people are starting to get into it. Especially on social media, like more people are discussing about these dramas and I think it's quite heartening to see more types of people enjoying this type of content. I think there's a bigger audience for Chinese dramas. I would say mostly because of the Korean culture. So once people get introduced to like K-pop, K-dramas, then they'll start moving to like other Asian shows like Thai and Chinese. I think that's how both of those got popular So Because of travel, like there are much more people moving around. Other people moving to China and they discover like, oh, like these dramas are like so much more entertaining. The values are more similar to what I have. I would say that Chinese drama is getting more and more popular because I've been seeing it more on TikTok. For example, you prefer the second lead instead of the first lead. Then everybody will comment on TikTok. I also think it's definitely increasing popularity. Yeah. Especially when it comes to those are special effects on. They put yeah. more budget yeah. into like these style of shows, right? Like, I see more and more younger people talking yeah. about it. Dylan Wang and, and Esther Yu is both very popular. My yeah. brother watched, he said because got, got very pretty girls, yeah. yes. The guys also look not bad. I think part and parcel is also due to part of their makeup and how they look and how they style themselves. I think it's a shift between past Chinese drama whereby it's more focused on like the older generation but I feel nowadays the Chinese drama because of the way they style themselves and the aesthetics has changed to shift towards appealing to more younger people who like the style more.